December 26th, Detention Center Visitor's Room. Maya. Hey, Nick, it's you. I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day okay. It's a relief. Hey, why'd you do that anyway? I don't know. I, I just knew it. I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Oh, uh, okay. Hello, guys, and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about our play games that today we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we finished off the trial, or at least our first trial, and in this episode, we're going to go ahead and start investigating because we've got a lot of stuff that we need to uncover. First, we're going to examine the running gags. Guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch since I came in. A real pro. And smile for the camera. Smile for the camera. Okay. So how's it going, Maya? Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said, seeing as, this you, seeing as this is your first offense, we'll let you go after questioning. Woo! Oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready. You can pay for me, okay? Huh? How much? I don't know. I guess they'll send you a bill or something. How do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? Any luck with Mia? None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Hmm. She sounds like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. I'm sad. Must be nice, Nick. You can just show that to anyone and say, I'm a lawyer. But spirit mediums, well... I don't know, with your clothes I bet that at least some people would recognize you. But these are medium and training clothes. I wonder if I'll ever be a proper medium. So yeah, Maya's very depressed at the moment, and so we're just gonna head out and try to investigate on our own. December 26th, Gord Lake Park entrance. There are fewer than there there are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around in the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. Well, let's head deeper into the lake to find out. Not like we're going to be going into the lake, but, you know, the the park. I haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off paying through the nose on a date with a, with the lovely Keonce. This feels very quiet without Maya around. December 26th, Gord Lake Woods. There we go. Hey, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal. The trial today, it, uh... Yes? What about the trial? Well, I was going to say good show, but it wasn't really all that. Though you did save Edgeworth, I guess. I... I just wasn't sure to th how to thank you, you know? Uh, thanks. Tomorrow's trial. Detective Gumshoe? Any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? Sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? Oh, right, he said something about that in the trial today. There were two witnesses. Okay, I guess that's all for the flashback. I was wondering who that other witness was. Uh... Who was it? Okay, sorry, I read that wrong. Uh, who was it? S sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Right. Oh, right, I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does, and him becoming a lawyer, and him becoming scared of earthquakes. It all started with that incident. The L6 incident? Yep, that's the one. Fifteen years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes. He still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. I wanted to talk to you about Maya Fay. 
Huh? She's not out on bail yet? That's strange. I told them to let her go as soon as they had the report written up. Man, I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her get dragged out by the bailiff. I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. Edgeworth, he was so moved I saw his lip trembling. Really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth? He was really grateful for what she did, you know. I'm going to head back to the station. I'll get the report on mine and get her out of there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh, wait. Um, I was wondering, how much is bail going to be? Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. What? Edgeworth? Didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. All right, pal. Why don't you forget? Why don't, well, don't forget to go pick her up, okay? Hmm. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. Gord Lake Public Beach. I don't know why I'm saying the names of the locations. We're just heading back to the detention center. December 26th, detention center visitor's room. Hey, Nick, you finally came. They just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Free at last, huh? Those interrogators were really mean. They were all like, okay, so what did you do this time? Like I was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? Well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Mmm. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? I have to make it up to him. We've got to win this case, Nick. So now she's in much higher spirits. Pun intended. What to do? What do you think we should do next? We're kind of lacking in the clues department. We could go to the park and look for Gordy. I was kidding. Still, if there are any clues out there, the park's as good as a bed as any. What do you say? Shall we head down there? Sure. Have you noticed anything lately? Hmm. You no, know, I did notice one thing while, while I was here in detention. It's really pretty comfortable in here. It's warm and they keep it very clean. I mean, have you noticed anything about the case? Well, not much more than that, no. She's probably still upset about Mia. I should leave her alone. Yeah, I know we already presented it before, but... Attorney's badge. Yeah, if it's the same thing as before, I probably should have expected that. Anyways, let's move on back to the Gord Lake entrance. December 26th, Gord Lake Park entrance. There aren't many cops around today, are there? They're probably back at the precinct working up the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Hi, y'all. Hey, it's Lada. Y'all really did it today. What did we do now? No, I'm not complaining. So yeah, I did a little thinking. A little self-reflection, you might say. I realized that being a witness is my big responsibility. But I just went up there and started blabbing any old thing that came to mind. Lada. So you see, I wanted to make it up to y'all. Make it up. Oh, didn't mean to press that. Yeah, this sounds promising. Anyways, today's trial. What did you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing it to have to just say I'd been a witness. Even though I didn't really see anything. I kind of convinced myself I had, though. I'm sorry I know I caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory is a tricky, vague little thing. Yeah, I sure know that now. I'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. Right. You mean the first time you witness a murder. What about Gordy? Right. Well, the way I figured, the, the trial's only stoking the flames of Gordy fever. I'll get my exclusive photos and rock it to stardom. All right, Lotta. You go, girl. I wish I could be an investigative photographer, too. Finish your spirit medium training first. Lotta, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see, I actually got a bit of information for you. What? That Von Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. What information? Now we're getting to the heart of it. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. Exchange? Um, I thought this was to make it up to us. Right. I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. What? Information don't come cheap, my friend. Uh... Hi! 
I see you thinking, my, how unsophisticated these southern folks are. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most other southerners are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just the exception, okay? Well, what'll it be? We got a deal or not? What do we do, Nick? We don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? You completely off your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Huh? The only fair exchange for information is information. Listen good. What I need from you is the information about Gordy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gordy? But Gordy doesn't... I mean, Gordy might not exist. Then bring me proof that shows he down. Uh... I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? You see something, y'all come to me first, got it? Okay. Right, see y'all later. Okay, Nick, let's get hunting. Hunting? You don't seriously mean... Gordy? I sure do. What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy... We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick. Don't you get it? Okay, and how exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist? Uh, maybe. I've always been inconsistent about characters, about Lada's character, about whether I like her or not. Like, sometimes I think, oh, she's annoying. And then sometimes I think, eh, she's kind of lovable. She's, you know, she's not the best character, but, you know, she's not the worst. I kind of flip-flop back between them. Speaking of characters I don't really like, not to steal Sam right, but the guy who's about to pop up now. What's that? That the Steel Samurai, Nick. Yo, Maya. Larry, what the heck is this? Oh, it was my girl Keyonce's idea. She was all, if you like it, put this here. It would be like really cool. Dude, she gave it to me along with a banner. Wow, that's real impressive she could find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people. That show's finished now, so she got them for free. Right. First, let's, uh... See this. Also, the Steel Samurai theme is really good. Doesn't that Steel Samurai look a little out of place? I mean, it's so huge. I guess it's good advertising. Something about this Steel Samurai just doesn't work for me. Huh? Really? Looks pretty well made to me. <laughs> Still a novice, aren't you, Nick? Really? True connoisseurs like Connie, Cody, and me don't fall for this kind of stuff. These Steel Samurai fans are obviously in a league of their own. Those flags look sadly out of place here, flapping listlessly back and forth in a cold wind under a cold sky. I don't know, I think it gives the place a kind of festival atmosphere. Reminds me of the War of the Eyeglasses. The War of what? Huh? What? You mean you don't know the War of the Eyeglasses? What the heck is it? Our local fairy, fairy used to do it every summer. Huh, I guess we're the only ones. I ask again, what the heck is it? Now I really want to know. For any Ace Attorney lore experts, let me know if there's any explanation of what the heck that is. Edgeworth. Yo, Nick. What happened with Edgeworth? Well, we made it through the first day in court, all right. I don't know how good our, our prospects are from here on out, though. Ah. Oh. Hey, Larry, did you know Edgeworth's secret weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes. He acts like a little boy. Huh? That's weird. I don't think he was ever like that in school. No? Really? Well, we were the only we were only in the same class for a year. We transferred schools pretty quickly. Transferred? Right. When the DL6 incident happened. Doesn't look like Larry knows about it though. Hey Larry. What was what was that big what was that big thing up there before? Huh? Oh, the big guy? I've had that for about a month, yeah. It's a big hit with the kids. Why wasn't it up there yesterday? Huh? <laughs> oh, 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 right. That compressor was busted. Compressor? Yeah, it's that little unit my, by my hot dog stand. That's what I used to put air in the Steel Samurai. 
It broke a little while ago, so I sent it in for repairs. Oh, here I thought you'd inflated it by yourself. So yeah, not much here. Also, sorry, Nick. I don't know much about that. I'm a mere seller of hot dogs. Okay, that line is kind of funny, but... Anyways, this part is just going to be kind of walking back and forth, because we don't really have any good leads. We want to go after Gordy, but we don't really have a good way to go about that. And we don't know much about what we can talk about with Larry. <clears throat> December 26th, Police Department Criminal Affairs. Hey there, pal. What's up? Look out of sorts. Wait, you didn't go do something that's not that's going to do going to hurt Mr. Edgeworth's case again. What do you mean again? Whatever, have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything. Besides money, that is. Go ahead and talk to the big guy. Investigation. How was the investigation proceeding? It's not really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. His motive? See, Mr. Edgeworth's father died in that DL6 incident, and the guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case, Robert Hammond. They're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. And Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag that out of him with in court tomorrow, too. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I gotta admit, doesn't look good, pal. Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? A monster down at Gord Lake? Not personally, no. <laughs> well, we're looking for him. Huh? Are you out of your minds? Eek! You got no- you got time to go wild monster hunting? How about doing a little questioning for me then? Oh, Detective Gumshoe was scaring me, Nick. I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Flotta. Nick, try telling him sooner next time. Uh, sorry. I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Okay. I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid your search for Gordy. Huh? I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. Really? You can take whichever one you like. And we'll learn about these secret weapons in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode, we'll continue our search for Gordy and see if there's anything we can find out. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.